Subly Light No Cut and Subly Light No Cut Glitter allows you to use your existing sublimation system with regular sublimation inks to decorate light and bright coloured cotton garments and more. Subly Light No Cut Glitter has an embedded glitter layer on the transfer paper. Both papers are designed for bold, full tone colour vector designs, not so much for photographs and designs with pastels and light skin tones. What do you need to get started with the Forever Subly No Cut Transfer Papers? First, you need a laptop or computer, a sublimation printer, P press, suitable artwork. To have a successful transfer with Subly Light No Cut and Subly Light No Cut Glitter, you need to use colours with values of 150% or higher. The best way to check your colour range is by printing a colour test chart. This can be found on our website. Before you print, Set your heat press to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. With a 30 second timer, 2 to 3 bar or 29 to 44 psi pressure. Make sure your bottom plate is hot and preheated for around 30 seconds. How to choose colours for editing your images? We recommend that all users print a colour test chart. Printing a colour test chart provides you with the best working colour values for your system. We should refer to these colour values when editing our images. A free CMYK colour test chart can be downloaded from our website. Visit the foreverots.com website, click support, then download from the top menu. Scroll down to the test files drop down menu. Click subly light no cut colour chart and then click the download button. Save the colour chart to your desktop. Place a sheet of Subly Light No Cut into your sublimation printer. If you experience printing issues, we recommend all users to perform a nozzle check and then the head cleaning maintenance options. These options will remove most printing issues. We recommend running the head cleaning option after replacing ink cartridges. Once the test file has been printed, take the sheet immediately to the heat press. Do not let the ink dry. The ink on the printout needs to be wet for a good transfer. Position your garments on the lower plate and pre-press for 15 to 30 seconds. This removes excess moisture and wrinkles from the shirt. Please remember to do this with every shirt. Position the Subly Light No Cut sheet on the garment and press for 30 seconds. Once the 30 seconds are up, open the press and begin removing the Subly Light No Cut sheet by grabbing one corner and peeling towards the opposite corner. Now that our test file is printed, we can see which colours work and which do not. Choose the colours that work and best fit your image. How to change individual colours in Photoshop. When setting up your print file, first choose your desired print size. In this case we will choose A3 size. Set the resolution to 300 dpi and your colour mode to CMYK with a transparent background. Once these options are set, click create to create your new print file. Now that our print file has been set up, we can go ahead and import our image. To do this, simply find your image, then click and drag your image to the new file. Click OK. Now scale as desired and hit enter. As the Subly Light No Code Transfer Media can only be printed successfully with images that have colours with values of 150% or higher, we need to check which colours in our images fall under the 150% value mark. To achieve a colour value of 150% or higher, we need to add each of the CMYK colour values together. By adding each of the CMYK colour values together, we will get our total colour value amount. Checking your image colour values in Photoshop is very easy. Select the eyedropper tool here from the left hand sidebar. Click Window from the top menu. Select Info from the drop down menu. This activates the Info palette on the right hand sidebar. As we move our mouse over the colours in our image, these colour values are displayed in the Info palette. Begin moving your mouse over the colours in the image and find the colours which are below 150%. As you scan your image with the eyedropper tool, you should start to see which colours will not print. This will help you decide which colours we need to change. 
Once you have decided which of your image colors you need to change, click select from the top menu. Now click color range. This is going to bring up the color range dialog box. I'm going to select the sampled colors option. Sampled colors provides us with these three eyedropper icons here, which help us choose the colors we want to select. Choose the regular eyedropper for now, which is this one here. Move your mouse to your image and choose the color you would like to change. Whatever appears white becomes selected and whatever appears dark is not selected. The fuzziness tool lets you increase or decrease your selected color. So let's click OK. Now you can see that our chosen color has been selected. Now what we have to do is add a new solid color fill layer. Click layer in the top menu here. Go down to the new fill layer and click solid color from the list of options. Click OK to activate the new layer. The next thing we need to do is refer to our color test chart, which we printed in the previous section. For this example, we will choose 100% cyan, 20% magenta, 20% yellow, and 10% black. Click OK. Now we can see that our color selection has been loaded into the new solid color fill layer. Just remember that your colors need to be 150% or higher to work with the Subly Light No Code Transfer Media. There we go, and that's how we select and change a color in Photoshop. If some colors don't transfer to the garment, you should always make sure to preheat your lower plate and pre-press your t-shirt. If a background appears, make sure you adjust your pressure. If the small areas of your design are closed up, then this is usually because your design is too fine. If there are any errors in your printouts, then you will need to run the head cleaning and nozzle check options from the printer's menu and the rollers may require a cleaning.